Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't lie, I was high on shrubs. So the topic we're back with another video. I'm Strange Wayne, he is a Nate. Also happens to be my favorite person from Czechoslovakia. <laughs> but today we got a cover drop from Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome. Speaking of dome, remind me, I gotta call Emily later. You're a fucking pig. What copper drop is, is our buying process. This is a month coming out in next month in November. So in October, we look at still books. We talk about what we like about them, what we dislike about them. And then we pre-order them or we just go to the store and buy them. And this is basically that conversation we have off camera. And we're putting it on camera because we like talking about still books. But my favorite friend from Czechoslovakia, he's going to talk about our social media. Da. Uh, if you scroll down to the description box below, pop it over, you'll find links to our social media accounts. So go and follow us on there. So maybe one day we can get a Czech, a Slovakia next to our Twitter account. We also have links to our coffee account and our Patreon account where you can uh, throw some money our way to help us improve the channel. We would greatly appreciate it, and it is, uh, it's needed. We, we need that. We appreciate it. As uh, the, the little check line you did about mm -hmm. the blue check, check it. as my other foreign friend would say, very nice. On the front, very similar to the word warrior. You got Mad Max behind Mad Max is the words Mad Max. And then down low, you got things pertaining to the movie. You got the little crackhead kid Mill Gibson hangs out with throughout the film. Tina Turner's on there. Beyond the Thunderdome. Everything that pertains to the movie. Boom. Circles. It's true. Um, you know, the red and the yellow just don't look as good together as the blue and the yellow did. You know why? From Road Warrior. You know why? why? Because Hulk Hogan's colors is red and yellow. And he's a fucking racist. <laughs> Those are racist colors. They might be. I don't know. I can't. I can't argue that. And, and, and Mel Gibson. He, he hates the Jews. <laughs> He's an evil, evil Jesus. gentile. Um. So for this one, just is not as visually appealing to me as the Road Warrior Steelbook was. This is also the worst of the franchise. If you haven't seen this movie, I have. So like, believe it or not, I've never seen the Road Warrior, but I have seen Thunderdome. It was just on TV, and my dad was watching it one day, and I remember it. It was like forever ago, but I remember it. Mostly just like the Thunderdome scenes and the like two minute or one minute lead thing uh -huh. and like the weird baby thing and I watched it because Tina Turner's hot. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's a steel book. I don't like it honestly. <laughs> but then you go to the spot in Mad Max. I don't even see Thunderdome on there. They used to put Mad Max. It looks like them motherfuckers cheap, son. They said you get you don't even get two words. That's a compound word, dog. They ain't giving you that, son. You just get Mad Max six letters, bro. And then on the back, you got some car stuff. Oh, is that? Yeah, it's like a big rig. Yeah. And then everything pertains to the movie that no one cares about because I don't care about what studio or how long or long the movie is, whatnot. And then inside the still book, I'll, good still book making 101. You put the disc where I don't care. And then you put the words or the main focus on the left side that has nothing behind it. Good stuff. You said you didn't like this. I said I own it. Why do I need to buy it on still book? I don't watch it enough. It's gonna be a drop for me. I'm assuming it's gonna be a drop for you as well. Yeah, it is gonna be a drop for me as well. And the yellow discs are ugly against that red. Like this is just it's just not I don't like looking at it like I don't know if it's just like a me personally thing but there's just nothing that is visually appealing about this steel book so like I said for the Road Warrior anyways I would prefer to just wait for like a box set of all the to, Mad Max movies to, to come that. out so it's not necessarily a, a knock on the movie itself even though apparently it is the worst one of the franchise I still would like to own all the Mad Max movies I just don't need them right now so I'm gonna wait for a like a full set to come out ditto and then I don't have to buy this ugly steel book Exactly. Tell us what you think in the comment section down below. Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe.